This is Roger with Wheel Connects. We're selling this truck as a 2002 Dodge Ram 1500. Um, that's a half ton, uh, quad cab, full four doors, two wheel drive with a 4.7 liter V8. Uh, it's a theft recovery uh, on a clear title. It has 89,000 miles. Um, it came here with, you know, someone had painted it and it looked like crap, um, really bad. So we sent it and got a little $600 spray on it. We didn't do any body work, none of the dings or anything. We just sprayed over there bad with a one-stage paint uh, from uh, Mako. It's still not very glamorous. Um, so, you know, I mean, I'm just telling you that because I don't want anyone screaming at me. You're really buying it for, uh, for the low miles and the fact that it runs really well. Um, you know, it's got that, you know, the one-stage paint doesn't, go with the color and then clear coat it's all mixed into one and you know you don't get the the glossy finish and you don't you know uh it just it's just a truck is what we're selling here anyway um it runs good it's on a clear title and it's a four-door tires are yeah i would say probably 20 or 30 percent tread I'm trying to give you an idea of the finish you know it's kind of hold this thing still It is blazing hot. We did put a new windshield in it, which is why we have the windshield tape on still. That just happened this morning. I'm told the blower fan in the AC um, is a little bit uh, on the weak side. Uh, we're just going to sell it that way. Um, it's, I'm told it's blowing cold, uh, but it's just the fan is just kind of weak. So, you know, blower fans aren't that big a deal. If you wanted to do that, you, you wouldn't have a problem doing that. Um, and they sell them by the gunny sack and Merle's or, well, whatever your local uh, auto parts store is for probably 80 bucks, $75. Um, let's see. Oh, here we go. Here's some tape on the door. <laughs> they didn't get it off. Anyway, it's, uh, hopefully in HD you can see. It's not bad. I mean, for just a for just a pickup truck for picking stuff up and hauling and doing maintenance and work around the house or whatever, it's fine. You know, I guess what really matters is that it runs good. But uh, it's my job to show you what it is, so that when you get it, if you ship it, especially if you ship it, um, that you're not disappointed. That you know exactly what you're getting. And generally, in a case like this, um, I uh, get this uh, uh, quest. I get the statement that you know it's not nearly as bad as you said it was, which is what I want to hear. I'd rather hear that than it's worse than you said it was, <laughs> because uh, that's what gets people spun up. And uh, we have enough people looking at each one of our cars every day to find a person who's just fine with the way they look or whatever kind of issues they have. So that's why we're uh, able to uh, not BS you. And it's 105 degrees. And I think I'm rambling because I'm really hot. Man, it's like a little line here. There's a couple little floaties in the paint. It's a Mako paint shop. If you're uh, familiar with Mako, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, you know what I did notice? When they stole this truck, they always try to, you know, hide it. So they put Hemi emblems, and the paint shop was too stupid to figure out that this is not a Hemi. This is not a Hemi truck. It is a 4.7 liter. Um, they put those emblems on, you know, so that the cops won't pull you over. They think that they're going to figure not figure it out. Anyway, there's the uh, Dodge emblem here on the fender, so you know that this is a factory fender, which is good to know. It hasn't been off the car. There's your core support. Very straight. You can see it hasn't been hit. There's your bumper ends that look great. I show you this just so you know that there's no collision action here. Um, this core support hasn't been off the car. You can't see any uh, paint off of the uh, bolts holding it in and there's your stamp dodge stamp on that fender we put a new battery in it 
Yeah, and that's nice to see also. That's the uh, original hood. There's a sticker on the hood. So nothing up front's been changed. Um, someone previously had done just a horrific job of paint on this car, and we upgraded it from horrific to semi-bad. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what do you get for 600 bucks, right? So, let's see. Back seat looks great. Headliner looks good. That's a pretty dark tint. I don't know if that's legal tint or not. panel. There's your VIN. Of course, somebody's been in the dirt getting in and out of this truck. That's nice. Just went to detail. Power seat. That works. Make sure it goes up, down, up, down. We have a lumbar here too. Let's check that out. Yeah, that works too. Okay. Uh, it's got some little pinholes here in the top of the console, the little furry stuff's coming out of. It's inside the console. Yeah. Let's see. Let's turn the air off here and let's listen to the motor for a second. Put on my seatbelt so we can listen without the dinging going on. actually sounds really good. You know what? I think I saw some funky exhaust on it. Maybe someone put some aftermarket exhaust. Let's get out of here and check this out real quick. Oh yeah. Yeah. Some guy was playing uh, Racer Rick and put some uh, aftermarket exhaust on it. That would be why we sound like we're in the Daytona 500. Alright. Let me turn on some air. Let's see what the... I've been told when you put it all the way, yeah, hear that, that's the fan. Yeah, it definitely needs a fan. Let's put it here on cold. Very cold, but the fan is taking a dump. Yeah. It's actually, it's not blowing too bad, but it's so loud, it's got, the fan's got to be fixed. On this setting, it's blowing like it normally would on that setting. So, like I said, we just close it all, man. Overdrive off and on. You got, let's see, cruise control. There's that. Let's see, let me get my seat up here and get my seat belt back on. There we go. All right, I'm sorry, I said 89,000, it's 87,953. And we need some gas here shortly. Let's see what else we have. We have tilt wheel. There you go. Let's see the windows work. There's driver window, driver rear window, passenger window, and passenger rear window. Perfect. Okay. Obviously, they stole the radio doesn't have a cover on the at well, actually the ashtray is gone which a lot of people do they just take them out so no one's smoking in their car there you go the what's this going on here there you go there's your cover has some cracks on the dash which are pretty pretty severe um, that is so normal for these cars it's amazing I don't know what they made these things out of but it's just terrific that's a dash mat call it a day fixing it doesn't matter because I'll crack again Anyway, it's really got a nice, quiet idle. And it's not hot in here. It's 105 outside, so, I mean, I guess... Let's see exactly if it's got a temperature out there. 20.1... Oh, wait, wrong. There. Let's go to... I don't know how to do this. Oh, here we go. There we go. We got a temperature out there. Nope. 
That would tell us the temperature. Anyway, uh, let's see. It's on a clean title, so it doesn't need to get it inspected. Like I said, it's got a half-ass Mako paint job, and it's got a brand new windshield. Tires are about 20 or 30 percent. Probably good enough to go to Phoenix or maybe San Diego. Although I'd recommend new tires if you're really going to go a long way on uh, on the interstate. Um, if you come here to Tucson and pay for it, you're going to pay. Um, uh, let's see. You're going to pay our tax, which is two percent, plus whatever your state tax rate is. Your state tax rate is uh, zero, like Oregon. All you're going to pay is two percent tax and a two hundred fifty dollar dock fee. If your state tax rate is seven, you're going to pay nine percent tax and a two fifty dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship, all you're going to pay is the agreed upon price. Once we're paid in full, we mail off the title to you, and. Uh, you ship it out. Uh, we have a shipper that we recommend, but he's not mandatory. His name is Fred. He's at Beacon, Beacon Shipping Limited, and he's a good guy. He knows our system, and uh, give him a call. You know, probably a good idea to call him before. Let me jump on the gas here and make sure that... There you go. Boy, that thing runs great. Very smooth. Nice and straight. Uh, Sounds to me like we've got a jack or something flopping around under the back seat. A um, little bit of dash rattle, that's probably that. Um, but uh, boy, runs really good. Um, anyway, please check it out. It'll be a very fair price. Um, it's got low miles for the year and it's on a clear title. Thank you very much. Uh, please make sure you get a deposit in. If you don't get a deposit in, we don't have a deal. Um, an agreement on price doesn't mean anything because somebody will show up inevitably with cash in their hands and buy the truck. All right? Thanks very much. Have a great day and a great weekend. Thank you.